Making chakalaka, <laughs> South African chakalaka. <laughs> I'm teaching you Anita how to make chakalaka today. you want. You can use cubes, you can use chicken spice, any kind of seasoning. I'm just going to use two.
looks a bit dry. You can always put a little bit of oil. But you don't want it to be too greasy, so you must just monitor how much oil you put in. And yeah, we're just gonna let this fry for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. and then let it cool down. And then we're gonna add a can of baking. and I feel like it still needs a bit of flavor mm -hmm. so you can put chilies as well and your seasoning and you can add a bit of extra sauce because it also has spices in it and it just gives it more flavor so we constantly have to keep on tasting it um, checking how hot you want it to be and if it's got enough um, seasoning if it's tasty so I've just put my sauce and our carrots are nice and soft and then we're just gonna leave it now to cool down and then we're gonna add our baked beans and then we'll show you the final product <laughs> so now we're gonna add our can of baked beans so we're gonna add everything with the sauce Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's all your choice with chilies you want to use. Some people want to use habanero chili, some people like using green chilies, some people use red chilies. So, yeah, it's all dependent on you. Chakalaka. <laughs> yeah. It's hot and close to boiling pot, boiling point, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then you just add the maize meal and you just keep on stirring so it doesn't form clumps. This is mealy maize meal. And it just keep stirring like that. So when you make porridge, it's going to be like this, but the, it won't have these cuts because you would have mixed the, the maize meal with water mm -hmm. and then poured it inside the boiling water. So maize, the porridge usually looks like this, just a little bit more thicker. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So here with the bag, we're just going to close it mm -hmm. and allow it to boil for a bit and then we're going to put more maize to okay. make it a bit more solid. Okay. okay. So parents would be thick like this. Okay. But a, a, a little bit. This is too thick, but mm. that's how far it is. So now we're gonna add more leaves. No, and you just have to take it off because it's, when it's boiling mm. it pops up a lot and it can burn you on the face. So oh. you just put the pot aside mm -hmm. and then you watch it, Mr. Mid. You pour more maize in it. The stove when it's all solid. So, but what do you eat this with? The you can eat this with spinach and gravy. Oh, okay, okay. You can eat it with chicken. Mm -hmm. You can eat it with beef stew. You can eat it with rice. So, it's just like a staple. Uh, how do you call it? Um, like mashed potatoes, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, okay. I don't want to be famous. Can I check Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did it 
when we're first preparing it and then this is the second stir we just keep on turning it around and checking if there aren't any um what do you call them cuts in it and we just break them and stir it like this and then the last stir is when we're going to dish it up mm. So all of this is um, lamb? Dry, yeah. Okay, brown. All yeah. of this is lamb. Lamb, yeah. okay. okay. Fried lamb. Fried lamb. Bry. <laughs> <laughs> Finished products. Right. Right. <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> 